All right, I want to go over the quiz that I had you take last week just to make sure that we're absolutely okay with what's going on. So between zero and two seconds, is the object moving forwards or backwards? Definitely moving forwards. In a lot of ways that we can see this, we can say that it's a position value um, increases. Another way we could say it is that it has positive slope. Either one of these is correct answers. What's the object doing between two and three seconds? Not moving. And then the velocity between three and five seconds, we're going to get the slope. So this is a point five one. This is a point three five. And so to get the velocity, we're going to use the rise over run, which is x2 minus x1 over t2 minus t1. So we're going to end up getting 1 minus 5 over 5 minus 3. This is negative 4 over 2, which works out to negative 2 meters per second. Again, the units are the units of the rise divided by the units of the run. The final position of the object, we actually read that off the graph, and that should be 1 meter. How many meters did it actually travel? Well, it traveled 2 here, 0 here, and then 4 here, so a total of 6. And then if we were plot, to plot the velocity as a function of time, uh, what we would see over a period of five seconds, so we'll say one, two, three, four, five seconds. And I can just draw axes here and here. And we can actually say that this is one meter per second, two meters per second. Let's actually, you know what, I need to be a little bit more careful with this because I actually have positive and negative values for velocity. So I'll just be a little bit careful here. And we'll say that this is one meter per second. Um, this is two meters per second. And then we also have a negative one meters per second going backwards to negative two meters per second. And let's go ahead and graph now. And this is the vertical axes. And we can actually talk about one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. This is time. That's six seconds. So we could say two, four, six, and time is measured in seconds. So when we go ahead and actually plot this, uh, we see that we are going forward for two seconds at one meter per second. We stop for one second, and then we go backwards for the remaining time at negative two. Whoops. Negative two meters per second. So we could connect them like this if we wanted. And this is our graph. So the quiz only had a front side, so we have actually completed that, and I'll post that on Haiku right now.